Thanks for staying with us. Now to security matters. Did you ever think that there is need to support and say prayers for our military men? Well, we all should. In this report, the Catholic Archbishop of Lagos, Most Reverend Adewale Matters, said it is important to pray and support the military for putting their lives on the line to safeguard the nation's territorial integrity. He said this during the visit of a media advocacy as well as a prayer and support group for the Nigerian Armed Forces and other security agencies. Destiny Momo has more. Nigerian armed forces have been faced with tremendous challenges in recent times and they have shown readiness to confront the spate of insurgencies and other threats. In the wake of this, members of prayer and support group of the Nigerian armed forces and other security agencies paid a courtesy visit to the Archbishop. They were greeted with lots of encouragement. The Archbishop of Lagos, Adewale Martin, spoke on the need to support the military at such a time like this. Because I think if we are going to get people to be fully involved and engaged, there has to be a synergy, there has to be a, a meeting of minds. And uh, that will be necessary when that measure mm. of, uh, of uh, feedback is, uh, is given. I mean, there is absolutely no doubt that the, the military men and other security agents are making enormous Enormous sacrifices, young men, women who put their lives on the line, and uh, many of them get killed, and no one even knows apart from their families. Convener of this advocacy group, Mary Fatile, and other members spoke on the ratings of the military. She emphasized on the need of not castigating but praying for them. Like I always say, we should support our armed forces. We should support our security agents. It is not when you begin to castigate them, to say, oh, what are they even doing? They are not doing anything. They should remove them. They should do this. You don't, you don't, that mat you are using to castigate your armed forces, when you use it to pray for them, things will turn around in Nigeria. They need support. The populace, from everyone concerned, to us assisting the, 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 the military, the armed forces and civil agencies, towards ensuring there is peace in Nigeria. Well, it, 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 the advocacy is probably part, you know, how we're going to support them with prayers, how we're going to support them, you know, appealing to uh, the, the government to ensure that uh, whatever is needed, you know, whatever support is needed, the political will, everything is given to the uh, armed forces. Experts say there is need for the government to build on the capacity of the military and provide the needed support by equipping them with more arms and ammunition. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. The thrust here is that rather than curse the military, why not say a word of prayer or something encouraging? Let's make it a habit, especially in this new year. The secretary to the Biosa state government has called on the people of southern Ijo local government area to put aside their differences and concentrate more on factors that promote peace and development. The former speaker of the state house of assembly also advised the federal government to address the issue which led to the rise of militancy and other agitations in the Niger Delta. The meeting is called at the instance of the SSG and a few stakeholders who are unhappy with the near absence of human and infrastructural development in southern Ijo, despite its economic viability to Nigeria. Dr. Friday Combo with Benson is bitter that most communities in the LG have no schools, roads, has facilities and other basic amenities, but most worrisome is the fact that the people have not been united to fight for their common good. He emphasizes love moving forward, saying that they should come together to stop those whose actions are inimical to development, especially the Yenogwa Opuroma Road. And what is paramount and very important to me and to all of us is for us to see ourselves as brothers and to continue to keep ourselves as brothers and sisters. Anywhere there is no peace, there cannot be development. Please, Southern Niger people, 
allow the government to work, I will call on the Agobri people to please talk to their children, talk to their women. If road network is what we need, why should anybody come out to, to, to ask for compensation? The initiative is welcomed by stakeholders. Road brings development and that they, shall, they should uh, seek their swords. You know, so that the road can get to Puruma, our local government headquarters. It's very important that local government headquarters has been there for so long. And government is now desirous of taking a road there. So we are begging them, we are talking with them, and they are also suspending. We are very sure after the uh, festive period, the road will continue. The interest of every good politician is to see how your place, you know, develop. Okay, so this is a novel idea and we will want him to continue to expand it to make sure that every sons and daughters from South Niger embrace it so that we can work as a team. The SSG also advises the federal government to create opportunities for the people for them to turn away from militancy and attacking oil and gas facilities. Jesse is for Plus TV Africa. Now on, on water transportation. Did you know that part of the reasons why Lagos residents do not consider using water as their means of transportation is lack of swimming skills and phobia? Well, head of operations at the Lagos State Waterways Authority, Ibrahim Famuywa, believes these factors are negatively impacting the patronage. He assured that despite people's fears and reservations, the ferry remains the safest mode of transportation. The city of Lagos has navigable inland waterways, which if fully harnessed, would help minimize road traffic congestion, pollution and provide low cost of long distance travel within the city. Here at the five carriage terminal, the head of oppressions Lagos State Waterways Authority Ibrahim Famuyuwa spoke on safety measures put in place to avoid stories that touch. We don't really have any high turbulence that might, you know, um, tip a boat over, you know, in terms of safety. And um, the second thing is about the tides. So uh, in and around um, Lagos State, I mean the inland waterways, um, the range of the tides fall around uh, plus or minus one meter. But uh, to be on the safer side, you know, the Lagos State government, uh, you know, under the leadership of uh, Mr. Governor, uh, Mr. Olushola Songulu, has uh, done a lot in channelizing the priority routes. Passengers share their experiences using the ferry. The only reason why I choose uh, water transport is it's very fast. Though at times the gallop is too much on the... Maybe it's because of the wave. It's a very sweet experience and, and it's the fastest means of transportation. And it's safe. You have fresh breeze, not, not like the downfall. You have to at least shift the heat and everything. I'm going to satellite town now. And I'm telling you now, before 12, I'll be there. But if you're going by road, <laughs> you might be there till like 2 o'clock. You've never even got into my two. So I think water transport is one of the safest and the easiest means of uh, transport. For some time, I've uh, been missing appointments. I've not been able to meet up my classes as a swimming instructor. But ever since they introduced it and um, they make it um, very, very, very li liable for us, it's good. Famo Yuwa rated the use of water as mode of transportation. He records it's still in a developing stage as lots of people are dealing with water phobia. Inland waterways is safe. Uh, statistically, uh, it has a low um, accident, uh, you know, data compared to um, the other modes. Unfortunately, um, Lagosians do not have the culture of um, swimming, so water is still kind of like a phobia, you know. So I think um, it will be good for the entire public Lagosians to embrace the idea of swimming. It will help them, you know, overcome the phobia. The improvement of water transport in Lagos has the potential to help address the serious road congestion and its associated problems such as extended travel time, loss of man hour, and negative effects on the environment and human health. Well, I can't even remember the last time I swam. So, 
If you are like me, you might want to add swimming skills to your new year resolutions. And finally, on this edition of PLUS Report, the Nigerian Customs Service has intercepted contraband worth over 26 million naira at the Nigerian Cameroonian border communities. The area controller Adama Taraba Command, Isia Kaganiyu, gave the scorecard of the command for the last quarter of 2021 and combating smuggling. Details in this report. The Adamawa Taraba State's command of the Nigerian Customs Service has attributed the success of the seizure of the contraband items worth over 26 million naira to the logistics support provided by the team. I'm here to address you on the achievement made in combating smuggling in our area of coverage. Due to federal government policy, Adamawa Taraba is among the border that is still closed. Despite the closure, smugglers in their desperation always look for a way to engage in the various activities. The command, with credible intelligence from the CIU and SIS in collaboration with other agencies, was able to record 17 seizures with the duty paid value of 26,530,000 934 Naira 13 Kobo. This includes 1,334 by 25 jerry cans of PMS product. Despite the closure of the borders, some Iran smugglers still find a way to pull through, leaving a question on the effectiveness of checks at the borders. But the area commander insisted his team is up to the task. I want to thank the CGC. Colonel Hamid Ibrahim Ali retired and his management for all the support, especially in the area of logistics. Recently, about 72 patrol vehicles were purchased and distributed to various commands. The command was given two of the vehicles in addition to the already available ones. Here, to whom much is given, much is as well expected. The command hereby pledged to improve on its anti-smuggling efforts. I would like to advise that people should engage in legitimate trade or they will continue to face the wrath of the law. Thank you. Among the seized items included over 1,200 jerry cans of petrol, five vehicles, vegetable oil, and 104 cartons of foreign bar soaps. Others included second-hand clothes, 60 cartons of cigarettes, and 84 bags of 50 kg foreign rice. And that's all on this edition of PLUS Report. But before we go, let's to remind you to follow us at PLUS TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. And to subscribe to our YouTube channel at PLUS TV Africa. I'm Jacinta Ubiugu. Thanks for watching.